I reported on the channel that the BYD Atto, the electric car that has come to Australia, to India, well, it's coming to India very soon, come to Thailand, Singapore, New Zealand, many other countries around the world, Europe now, they're just going to Europe as well, that it wouldn't have a five-star safety rating when it went on sale in Australia. And it didn't. But it does now have a safety rating. In fact, it just got a five-star safety rating on the Euro NCAP test. And therefore, it also got a five-star safety rating in New Zealand. So that's happened within the past few days. However, in Australia, thanks to more Australian bureaucracy, no five-star safety rating has yet been awarded. Now, I just want to point out, in Europe, the new $100,000 BMW i4 electric car got a four-star safety rating. So in Europe, the Europeans are saying the new BYD Atto 3 Chinese car is significantly safer than a BMW i4. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thanks for tuning in. And let's quickly have a look at this kind of Aussie bureaucracy really at its worst here. That's my opinion anyway. Now, Australian owners of the BYD Addo 3 electric car, which as you guys know, I ordered. I still don't have it thanks to some, I don't know what's going on BYD. Let me know. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, have been issued a bulletin here in Australia advising them to not install a child restraint in the middle back seat position. Now, I personally... I've never met anyone in my life who's ever installed a child restraint in the middle backseat position. Have you? I mean, that's a pretty difficult position to put a child in. Anyhow, the email sent to owners over the weekend comes after drive revealed a five-star safety score has not been issued to the BOD Addo 3 here in Australia after questions were raised over its approval for local roads. The truth is, it comes down to one very tiny, tiny issue, which clearly wasn't considered an issue in Europe or in New Zealand. The Addo 3 was awarded five stars by independent crash test authorities in Europe and New Zealand. However, that five star score hasn't been applied in Australia and lawyers representing the distributor of the BYD Addo 3 in Australia told Drive that they would issue a media statement within 24 hours of the announcement of the European five star rating which was issued at 7 p.m. last Wednesday night, 12th of October. So they haven't yet issued a statement that I'm aware of yet because they're trying to work out why the car or what they have to do to get it the five-star rating in Australia. Now, so far, the email to BYD customers is all we know about. BYD Australia advises BYD Addo 3 owners and users that they should not use the rear center seat to attach any child seat. BYD Australia is in the process of resolving this issue and will shortly provide you with a further update. The email then asks BYD customers to please click below to acknowledge you've read and understand. I haven't received that email even though I have ordered and I'm still waiting for my car. Now, I believe from what I can tell, it's a very, very minor issue. Now, Drive reported that the Addo 3 lacks an accessible top tether child restraint anchor point in the center position in the back seat. This is a long-standing requirement here in Australia for five-seat passenger vehicle compliance in Australia. Now, the Addo 3 does come with two Isofix child seat latches with corresponding top tether mounts in each outboard seating position, but it's missing an accessible top tether for the middle seat, which is deemed the safest position in a car for a child because it is away from the doors in a side impact crash test. Now there actually is a provision for a top tether behind the seat back fabric. So it's there, but there's some fabric in the way. However, this doesn't comply with Australian design rules, which say clearance shall be provided around each upper anchor fitting to allow latching and unlatching within, without the use of tools. Now the Department of Infrastructure, Transport, Regional Development, Communication and the Arts is responsible for motor vehicle approvals in Australia and said in a statement last week, passenger vehicles entering Australia are currently assessed against the standards for child restraint anchorages 
and fittings as set out in ADR 3403. Now, clearly in Australia here, even though we don't even have our own automotive industry anymore, we've decided to take it upon ourselves to make our own safety rules, which are different from the rest of the world, different from the United States, different from China, different from Europe. This is Australian bureaucracy really at its finest. And it says this, the department recently granted a vehicle type approval for the BYD 803 to be provided in Australia. The department granted this approval after considering the information, including declarations that BYD Auto Company Limited provided with its application. If the 803 is determined to be non-compliant with an applicable standard, the department will work with BOD Addo Company to bring itself into compliance and determine the most appropriate way to inform and protect the public. Now, it looks to me as though what's going to happen is BOD will put in some kind of recall and fix this issue. That's the most likely scenario. Then the cars will finally receive their five-star rating here in Australia. Now, contrary to perception, motor vehicles have for years not been subject to a physical inspection by federal authorities to ensure they meet local regulations. So essentially, the government here just assumed it would have what was it was required to have, and it didn't it didn't quite meet the standards. After obviously the cars were eventually inspected at some point. If the Auto Three has well breached Australian regulations for five seat passenger cars, as it seems it might have, it means that the hundreds of examples that have already been delivered to customers will be recalled. That's the most likely scenario. And also a stop sale notice will probably be applied to the vehicles that haven't been recalled until they're made compliant. Now, BYD said, our client is working cooperatively with ANCAP to finalize a rating. The process is ongoing. In this respect, our client will be releasing a press release within the next 24 hours concerning the process. It is an undertaking to obtain a five-star rating in Australian specific models of the Addo 3. Now, I haven't seen any information yet in terms of that press release. So I'm assuming they're still deciding how they're going to go about making this recall. Now, last week, a statement from the Australasian New Car Assessment Program, which is the Australian Safety Standards, which independently tests and scores the safety of new motor vehicles set. Australian supply BYD Auto 3 vehicles are currently unrated. ANCAP is working with BYD to finalize the applicability of a rating for Australian specified models. So, I was obliterated on social media by BYD Facebook groups. Hundreds of people piled onto me about this issue. I made a video saying that BYD Addo 3 would not receive a five-star safety score when it went on sale in Australia, that it was a physical impossibility that it would receive one at the time it went on sale. I said it would more than likely receive a five-star safety score at some point during the year, but not when it went on sale. And I was correct. It was obvious that was impossible and it wouldn't happen because the vehicle at the time of my video hadn't even been tested and it was about to go on sale. So it was impossible for the vehicle to have received that safety score when it went on sale. Now, I basically took the distributor's word for it that this car would get a five-star safety score eventually, some way down the track, which is now some way down the track. Now, obviously, you would think that once the, the car received its five-star safety score in Europe, that that score would be applied to the Australian car. That no, that's normally what happens. And that happened pretty recently. So you would think it would be, but it wasn't thanks to this little glitch, this little hitch, this little thing. The reality here is though, when it comes down to it, this is one of the safest cars you can buy. The current safety ratings in 2022 are very, very, they're very high. They've, you have to meet a very high standard to get five stars, as proven by the fact that BMW's brand new i4 electric car got a four-star safety rating. I mean, that to me, though, is ridiculous. That's, that car costs more than twice as much as this car, and that's in its standard variation. So this really goes some way to proving that BYD Addo 3 is a very safe car, as I believe it would be. One of the key reasons for this is the blade battery. The BYD blade battery Really, it's probably one of the safest batteries you can have in a car. And if you think about it, what's an internal combustion engine? A gasoline-powered vehicle. How often do they catch fire? They catch fire every day of the week. The media just doesn't report on it because it's so common. I've been in cars on a couple of occasions when they've caught fire for no known reason. One of those was a General Motors one. It was a Holden Commodore, which technically it's a GM vehicle, but anyway, it was made by Holden here in Australia. And that caught fire while we were driving along for no reason. We never really learned why that was. BYD's vehicles with the blade battery, basically, I can't say will never catch fire, but it's extremely unlikely they will ever catch fire 
Lithium ion phosphate batteries combined with the blade battery technology mean, yeah, super safe batteries. This is clearly a super safe car. Hopefully BYD can get this sorted as quickly as possible. My recommendation is if you've got a choice and you can buy one of these cars, don't let this hold you back from buying one. Customer service, nah, yeah, not so great. But the actual car itself, it's a good car. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.